Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today, as we start the new decade of football, I am very excited for what's going to happen in the last 10 years. But I thought today will be appropriate to go back into memory lane and to look back at your club's best moment in the past 10 years. Obviously, being a championship channel, I'm going to look at every championship club and tell you what I think their best moment was in the past 10 years. Some clubs were easier to find a moment than others, but I think I found a really good moment in all 24 clubs. Once again, I'm always interested to hear your opinions in the comments down below. Let me know what, what your best moment as a supporter has been in the past 10 years. Also, in terms of football in general, what has been your best and most memorable moment in the past 10 years? I'll be very interested. As always, if you like what you see and you want to see more from me, want to see more championship content, please make sure you do give this video a like. It is massively appreciated. Please share the channel to as many football fans as you can, as many championship fans as you can as well. All of that will be fantastic. And to subscribe if you haven't or if you're new around here, all of that will be fantastically appreciated. It really would make my day. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is also in the description down below. You can follow me and ask me anything about football if you wanted to ask me more questions. That is the place to go to. Without any further ado, I'm going to go through all 24 teams in alphabetical order. And let's go through of their best moment in the last 10 years. So with Barnsley, obviously not in an ideal position as of now. They'd be hoping that they'd get higher up the championship table to start off the new decade very well. I think their best moment is probably winning the leasing.com trophy. But in that same season, they also got promoted to the championship after finishing sixth place and qualifying via the playoffs. Following from that season, this was the 2016-17 season, they finished at their highest position ever in the championship, finishing in 14th place. This was under Paul Heckingbottom as manager and... His career has completely gone downwards since that season. They had fantastic players in that squad. I think the two standouts for me are Connor Hurahan, who's obviously moved on to Aston Villa, and Alan Winnell as well, who's obviously gone to Sheffield Wednesday now. They finished 14th, as I said, actually one place higher than next year's runaway leaders, Wolverhampton Wanderers. So they were in a pretty good place. With Birmingham, this was really easy for me. I could have picked the moment where they finished 9th, in the Premier League but for me winning the Carling Cup one year later just topped all of that they beat Arsenal 2-1 Ziggic scoring the goal and Obafemi Martins gained the winner more great players in that squad was Ben Foster Lee Bowyer was in this squad as well but it was a fantastic start of the previous decade and I think that is their best moment obviously it's ended a bit of a sour note they got relegated on that season they were nearly relegated one time literally surviving by goal difference it was i remember their final game paul candace managing to equalize in stoppage time literally saving birmingham and game doncaster relegated that was a really dramatic last day of the season but overall they have got a really good thing to buzz about from the previous decade they've got a trophy with blackburn i mean compared to previous years this decade has been one to forget for blackburn it was the start of the venkies taking over the club they actually took over Blackburn at 2010. They did spend one of their seasons in this decade in League One, but they had a terrific response coming second place in that season. Danny Graham and Bradley Dack scoring plenty of goals. So that would probably be their best moment, having some promising form and finishing in the top two of the competition. Although you could argue that, that another good moment from them was them finishing in the top 10 of the Premier League in the 2009-10 season. It was really hard for me to find a really good moment for Blackburn. If any Blackburn fans are watching, let me know in the comments down below if I've missed anything out. But for me, your 10th place finish in the Premier League was really, really good. Considering that you previously sacked Sam Allardyce, which I was really surprised that came about in the end. And you coming second place in League One, I think was also a great moment for you. With Brentford, they spent the first half of this decade in League One, really trying to get into the second tier of English football. They really tried for the 2012-13 season, I think it was that season, where Brentford played Doncaster on the final day and having a penalty, Marcelo Trotter stood to the spot and hit the crossbar and Doncaster hit them on the counter-attack and they scored. And it was that moment where Brentford dropped into the playoffs, couldn't qualify, Doncaster were promoted by the championship. They were literally a couple of minutes away from getting into the championship. 
but Brentford had a terrific response, getting promoted, and then the following season, I think, has been their best season, where they finished fifth in their debut championship season under Mark Warburton, obviously now at Queen's Park Rangers as manager, and unfortunately for them, they lost out to Middlesbrough, run by Ida Karanka at the time. For Brentford, their standout player for me was Andre Gray. He scored plenty of goals and had won a Player of the Month award as well. Best moment of this decade was finishing fifth in their debut season and who knows they could even start the new decade with an even bigger positive. Now Bristol City it's been a bit of a roller coaster of emotions for them. They finished rock bottom of the championship in one season within this decade but their best moment I think was when they won the Leasing.com trophy and also managing to secure the League One title both in the same season. Could you guess who was the top scorer in that season? He's still scoring goals now, he scored against Newcastle in the FA Cup Aaron Wilbraham was the top scorer for Bristol City in that season and unbelievable he's still scoring goals now for Rochdale. Another great moment I think one that may stick out for Bristol City is when they made the semi-final of the League Cup beating Manchester United 2-1 in the quarterfinals to get there. Sam Byron getting on the score sheet but it was Corey Smith's goal that cancelled out Ibrahimovic's equaliser that got Bristol City through over Jose Mourinho. It was such an incredible moment for the club at that time. And they were unlucky as well. They lost 5-3 against Manchester City on aggregate, both legs being lost by only one goal in the end. So Bristol City's best moment from the previous decade has been making the semi-final of the League Cup. With Cardiff City, there have been lots of ups and downs. My best moment for them will probably be their two seasons they spent in the Premier League. They spent a season Premier League in the 13-14 season and they've also spent a season in the Premier League last season. I think the 12-13 season for them is going to be a bit of a special one. They were promoted to the Premier League as champions, which would have been a really good moment for Cardiff at that time. Another great moment for Cardiff, which not many people talk about, and I didn't hear about it, but I remember the game at the time, was that Cardiff made the League Cup final against Liverpool. They were 1-0 up with Joe Mason being on the score sheet. Then it got to 1-1 at full time with Skirtle managing to equalise. Then it went to extra time and Dirk Kout put Liverpool ahead. But then somehow Ben Turner managed to find a 118th minute equaliser. It got to 2-2 and went to penalties and unfortunately for Cardiff they lost the penalty shootout so Cardiff were a penalty shootout away from winning a league cup in the 2011-12 season. So in yeah, many moments for Cardiff despite getting promoted to the Premier League they have been relegated and gone straight back down to the championship at those occasions. I consider their best moment either winning the championship finishing in first place or making the League Cup final against Liverpool because it was a terrific game and they gave Liverpool a fantastic fight. For Charlton, this decade has been a very turbulent one for them. The previous decade from the 2000s, they were a regular Premier League side, but a lot of conflict up top in terms of their ownership really drove the club one way and that was down. And they spent this decade with seasons in Championship and some of it in League One. The best moment was probably them winning League One, which at that time was the world record. The amount of points won in the season, it was 101 points. That was going to be previously beaten by Wolverhampton Wanderers and recently Sheffield United. Another good moment from the following season is that they finished ninth in their return to the Championship, only three points below the playoffs. The fact they got a record-breaking amount of points from League One, winning that title, having a great response for being relegated, I'd say that, for me, is Charlton's best moment. So Derby, this is a difficult one. They spent an entire decade in the Championship. They spent the whole of this decade stuck in the same division. So I couldn't really base their best moment off a promotion. But I think their best slash worst moment of the season was that they came so close to being promoted to the Premier League, making the playoff final in 2014, but losing out to Bobby Zamora, scoring in the final minute of the game, and they sent Queen's Park Rangers through to the Premier League, and Derby had to stay behind. This decade has seen Derby go through many managers like Gary Rowett, Nigel Pearson, and mo most recently Frank Lampard, who once again got Derby so close to being promoted, but lost out of a 2-1 game versus Aston Villa. But I'm picking Bobby Zamora's goal because that game went the extra mile, went to extra time, and if it gone to penalties, Derby could have had a chance with the players that they had in the squad. Now, Fulham, this was the easiest one for me. Now, before the start of the decade, 
they were so close to being relegated. Roy Hodgson, an unknown entity of a manager, came in. Literally by the skin of his teeth, kept Fulham up. Then he got Fulham to finish seventh in the next season. Fulham's highest ever finish, which got them a European place. Now, you would not think that Fulham could go far with a European place. They would have just scraped a qualification place to Europe or the Europa League at that time. But who would you have known? They made it all the way to the final and managed to sustain Atletico Madrid to extra time. It was a fantastic time for Fulham. They managed to beat Hamburger. They managed to beat Shakhtar Donetsk. They managed to beat Basel and even Juventus to get to the final. And to be honest, it was a really close game. And this Atletico Madrid squad had David De Gea in goal, they had Sergio Aguero, Diego Forlan. It was a very strong Atletico Madrid squad. But you wouldn't be surprised to know that Roy Hodgson collected the LMA Manager of the Year with that unbelievable run that Fulham went on. That was right at the start of the decade. They've had a little bit of a rocky patch, you know, from Premier League then to Championship. And obviously, back, they're now back to the Championship. Could have a chance of being promoted back to the Premier League starting the new decade well. But we're just going to have to wait and see. With Huddersfield Town, undoubtedly, their best moment was getting promoted to the Premier League in the manner that they did it. David Wagner came into Huddersfield Town, not really giving an impression that he could completely turn this side into title challenges. But my goodness, they finished in the playoffs. And they managed to get through Sheffield Wednesday and Reading, both on penalty shootouts. And then the following season, they go on and survive in the Premier League, picking up famous results. A 2-1 home victory against Manchester United, a 1-1 draw away at Chelsea, a 0-0 draw away at Manchester City. They picked up points against the big sides. Unfortunately for them, they had a reality check the following season, which was last season. But, undoubtedly, those two seasons were the best seasons at Huddersfield Town for me. With Hull, there was a few things I could have gone for, but I think I'm going to pick their FA Cup final against Arsenal. They were turning them up in a fantastic position, and they would help me, hate me to remind them this, but James Chester, Curtis Davies put Hull City 2-0 up, and they were in a fantastic position with Steve Bruce at the management, but Santi Cazorla and Lauren Koscielny managed to equalise for Arsenal to make it 2-2, went to extra time and Aaron Ramsey was the difference to make it 3 to Arsenal. Whilst it was a disappointing defeat for Hull, they should be really proud that they managed to get to that competition, they were so close to winning a trophy. This also managed to earn them a European place, unfortunately for them they got knocked out of the playoff round by Belgian side Lockeren. They've been spending most of their decade in the championship, this, but overall there were some great moments for Hull. Now Leeds, they spent most of their decade within the championship, starting it in League One, but they did well to get back to the championship now and almost very likely that they're going to start off a new decade fantastically well and get back to the Premier League. This is a difficult one for me because they haven't even made a playoff final within this decade. I'm tempted to say that their best moment was them coming so close to being promoted. The free horse race last year between Norwich, Sheffield United and Leeds. But I'd say a little bit of an underrated moment which I managed to watch back was Jermaine Beckford scoring for Leeds against Manchester United at Old Trafford 2010-2011 where they were in League One at the time and Leeds won that game by one goal to nil with Jermaine Beckford scoring the only goal in the game. It was an unbelievable moment, Leeds gaining one over their rivals within two divisions from each other and at the time Sir Alex Ferguson and his side were looking untouchable. So yeah, I'm probably going to pick that as my best Leeds moment of the decade. Having said that, throughout this decade they've had some fantastic goal scorers as well. They had Ross McCormack with his career literally going downhill as soon as he joined Aston Villa. They also had Chris Ridd as well who's obviously now a regular striker, now a Premier League side. Burnley. With Luton this season, now I know with their position that they're in, it looks like that they're going to be relegated and go back to League One, but look back at 2014, they were playing conference football. They were nowhere near the championship, but they've gone on two promotions in two seasons in the past two years, and it's only taken them two seasons of League Two to get promoted to League One. They even had a chance to get promoted from League Two as soon as they got promoted, but unfortunately for them, they lost out to the eventual playoff winners of League Two at that time, which was Blackpool. So yeah, Luton have looked like that they've always been going on a high. Looks like the acceleration has kind of stopped at this level, which kind of gives you an idea of where Luton are at right now. With how special this club is, they can easily find that momentum again. And I'd say with the squad they have, they definitely have got the capability of getting promoted back into the championship 
if they do get relegated this season. With Middlesbrough, they spent nine out of their 10 seasons in the championship. So it's really hard for me to find a really good moment. I guess their best moment was their one season out of it when they managed to get promotion by securing second place. Unfortunately, they got relegated and went straight back down to the championship. After that, they've only scored 27 goals and I thought the signing from the Gredo was going to really help their strikers. He really did not help at all. And I thought the goalkeeping of Victor Valdez and Brad Guzan could have helped as well, but it didn't seem to make a difference. Another good moment actually, which I will also put alongside with that moment, was when in the FA Cup where Middlesbrough managed to beat Manchester City by two goals to nil. I remember that game well. It was a special moment for Middlesbrough beating Manchester City under Pellegrini where they previously won a Premier League in the previous season. They were looking really, really good. So that was another really special moment for Middlesbrough. So I'd say that game, but also their one season in the Premier League has been their best moment this decade. Millwall throughout this decade have been competing League One in the Championship. I'd say their best moment was when they reached the semi-final of the FA Cup, losing to Wigan, who I will talk about later on. They beat Premier League Aston Villa to get to this stage as well. Another really good moment was then their return to the Championship when they finished 8th place only three points below their places, managing 19 wins as well, which for a promoted side, that was really, really good. It looks like with their great momentum so far, they could really start off 2020 with a really big positive as well. But we're just gonna have to wait and see. Their best moment of the previous decade though, was when they made the semi-final of the FA Cup. Nottingham Forest have been another side who have spent their whole decade in the championship. They were competing for playoffs at the start of the decade, but since appointing Steve McLaren, and replacing him with Steve Cottrell. Nottingham Forest have just really fell and haven't really recovered. However, it looks like the start of this decade, it could be a really good time for Nottingham Forest with Sabri Namucci managing to get them to competing in and around the playoff places. But the one moment I'm going to pick is when Nottingham Forest managed to beat Arsenal at the FA Cup. It was a very famous victory at the time. Nottingham Forest completely written off in this game. They were 2-1 down at some stage, but they more than deserved the victory and it was a very famous 4-2 home victory. With Preston, I think their best moment for me was their playoff win over Swindon. Now, playoff wins could be really small compared to what I compared with the other club's best moment, but it was the way they won it. They beat Swindon by four goals to nil. It was an unbelievable game, and the game of Jermaine Beckford's life, he got a hat-trick. I've already discussed Jermaine Beckford, doing so well for Leeds, managing for them to beat Manchester United, but he scored a hat-trick against Swindon. Another great moment for Preston in this decade was at the 2017-18 season, where they narrowly missed out the playoffs by two points. They were seventh place, but there was real promise there with this Preston side as well. So overall, Preston have not had too many big standout great moments in this decade, but I'd say their best moment was getting promoted, but in the style that they did as well, beating Swindon by four goals to nil. They really got promoted up in style. With Queen's Park Rangers in this decade, they had promising moments in the Premier League. They managed to spend three seasons there. Their best moment was probably winning the championship and they followed that with surviving the season under Mark Hughes as well. So those two years, I think, were the best two years of this decade for Queen's Park Rangers. They also got relegated the following season. Then they got promoted back again with under the management of Harry Redknapp, but then they got relegated again and they stayed down at the championship ever since, trying to appoint managers like Ian Holloway to try and improve the situation, but it hasn't quite worked for them. But their best moment was winning the championship and surviving the Premier League the following season. With Reading, they spent nine out of the 10 years in the championship and have also spent one season within the Premier League, just like Middlesbrough. It was a very dismal time though, as they only won one of their games by a two goal margin. So it's been a real quiet decade for Reading. But I'd say their best moment was probably being promoted to the Premier League. With Sheffield Wednesday, they started the previous decade on a very sour note, they got relegated to League, one. I'd say one of their best memories of this decade was beating Sheffield United at Hillsborough in the Steel City Derby by one goal to nil and that proved to be a very important victory at the time because if you did not know the league on table Sheffield Wednesday clinched automatic promotion from Sheffield United by three points. Chris O'Grady was the one that scored the crucial goal and following from that I think I have another great moment was their two consecutive playoff finishes but their best moment I think was beating Sheffield United by one goal to nil and managing to steal promotion from them. That must have been a real sweet moment at the time. Now Stoke have had some fantastic moments in this decade. Obviously it's ended quite negatively 
but you've got to look at the positives of what Stoke could have been and probably what should have been. They had a European run, which was eventually ended by Valencia. Their best season was when they finished ninth under Mark Hughes. They had an attacking three of Shakiri, Arnautovic, Bojan. All three looked so good together. And in that same season, they beat Liverpool by six goals to one. They were an unbelievable mid-table side, you know, really pushing in terms of being the best of the West and maybe with more reinforcements and more money being spent, they could have snuck in into the top six if they had more quality of players. Another memorable moment was when they made the FA Cup final in 2011. However, they did lose 1-0 to Manchester City with Yaya Torre managing to score the winner. Swansea, for me, their best moment within this decade was winning the League Cup or Carabao Cup. But it was a real David versus David cup kind of final. There was no Goliath. It was Bradford versus Swansea. Swansea had to get past Chelsea to make it to that final. I remember the game very well. It was at the same game where Hazard kicked the ball boy because he was time wasting. It was a real low point losing to Swansea like that. But along with that, they also had encouraging seasons, finishing as high as a favorite players like Fabianski, Gomi, Sigurdsson. They had a really talented squad as well. And just like Stoke, they were competing around their level. Both of these sides could have really pushed on to maybe be the best of the rest and try and compete with the top six. But unfortunately, didn't really have enough to improve the squad. And eventually, they've dropped down and both have been relegated to the championship, funny enough, in the same season. But Swansea's best moment, winning the League Cup for sure. With Stoke, the decade, just like with Stoke, is ending on a pretty negative note. Although, like I said, with a few clubs already, they can start the next decade on a really positive note if they get promoted, which I think they will. Their best moment for me was probably the 2016-17 season. I won't lie, I really struggled with West Brom because they've not been too far in cup competitions within this decade. So for me, I've had to pick their highest finish in the Premier League, which was them finishing 10th in the 2016-17 season under Tony Pulis in charge. And that season, they picked up a famous 3-1 home victory against Arsenal. And this squad did have talent within them. They had Ben Foster, Romelu Lukaku, but they've been a quiet mid-table team. So no of laws happen. And eventually, the whole squad derailed when Pulis was sacked and they brought Pardew in and the whole taxi situation seemed to really put a dampener on West Brom season. It was overall a very embarrassing season. Finishing 10th with the squads of that standard under Tony Pulis as well, I think was really extraordinary. So I really struggle with this one. If any West Brom fans are watching, let me know in the comments down below what has been your best moment your club has been involved in with this last decade. And now we end with Wigan and I said I was going to go back to Wigan. They have won the FA Cup within this decade. Now they've been relegated in that same season under Roberto Martinez. Who would have knew he na he's now managing the Belgium national team, one of the top national teams in the world right now. It's just absolutely crazy. But they beat Manchester City in extra time. Callum McManaman, it was absolutely terrific, obviously now playing as a regular player under Luton Town. He got man of the match in this game and I wasn't surprised. He was instrumental in that midfield. Ben Watson, obviously now in Nottingham Forest, he got the winner by managing to head a corner. And it was a really positive moment because Man City at the time was still growing. They were a really good squad at the time, winning Premier Leagues. Whilst this was a fantastic moment that they won a trophy, it was overshadowed by their relegation. They did get relegated two further times to League One in two separate seasons, but I've managed to bounce back both times and that might be important because they could be in danger this season by getting relegated, but knowing they've got a good record in League One and get, tend to get promoted straight away, maybe it won't be the end of the world for Wigan if they start this new decade with relegation. But Wigan's best moment within the last decade, undoubtedly beating Manchester City 1-0 and winning the FA Cup. Obviously, the previous 10 years of Championship football was absolutely crazy with some insane scorelines, insane stories, We've seen a championship club like Leicester winning the Premier League in, within the last 10 years. Who knows what could happen in the next decade of championship football? Who knows for what clubs getting promoted can take from this? And who knows what other journeys all the current 24 championship teams will go under within this decade? But that wraps it up for today's video. If you guys want to see, please make sure you do give the video a like. It's massively appreciated. Please subscribe if you haven't done or if you're new around here. All about we fantastically appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are legendary if you saw the end of this video. And as always, take care.